Good morning. Introduction to Ad Hoc Transfer Module. After you've installed the WSFTP server, once you've installed the Ad Hoc Transfer Module, of course you want to go in as an administrator to Modules and make your adjustments. In the Ad Hoc Transfer Access location, you allow either the Everyone Group or any individual users that you choose to have access to the Ad Hoc Transfer Module. Further configuration of the Ad Hoc Transfer Module under Ad Hoc Transfer Settings, you choose the Package Storage Folder. This is a location, either local or UNC, that we use to store the files that are sent in each Ad Hoc Transfer. We have a session timeout of 600 seconds. This is configurable. Files link message simply tells you what to do with the link. Please click the following link to download your folders. You can change this verbiage to suit your needs. Our cleanup expired packages every one hour is the default. You can, of course, change that to one or ten or a hundred. Anything that suits your needs. As in our WSFTP server host details page, we have impersonation settings which allow us access and permission to write to the package storage folder. Mail settings, your email server or SMTP server that will be used for sending the emails. You can configure the port if it is a non-standard port. You can also include authentication user and password if need be. Send email notifications back to sender for each and every download, which generates a great many emails, or you can collect the notifications when a certain number of minutes have passed or a certain number of email notifications have been collected. A from address is provided for you, but you can of course change this to suit your needs. Back under modules, we'll find the last step in configuring the ad hoc transfer module under ad hoc transfer package settings. These are going to be administrative maximums that you as the administrator set that users of the ad hoc transfer module cannot exceed. The maximum package size in megabytes, kilobytes, or gigabytes. Our maximum package expiration is 30 days, but that can be in days or hours. Likewise, default package expiration is seven days. It can be seven days or one hour, either that you choose. Remembering these are maximums and can be changed to suit your needs. The maximum downloads per file is 500 by default. Default downloads per file is of course 10. You can change this as well. Remember these are maximums imposed on all of your ad hoc transfer users. Send options you can require notifications when files are downloaded. This would be a global configuration for each ad hoc transfer user. You can require password protection on all packages which is a default by the way. There are two ways that you have to choose this. Allow senders to type their own package passwords, or we can automatically generate a password for the package and force the sender to use them. But in either case, the password must be communicated to the recipient. Once you have completed your configuration of the ad hoc transfer module, you can log on with the ad hoc transfer module now and begin to send the file. This page is configurable or brandable, if you will, to your company's logo and colors. Using my account on the WSFTP server, I log into the ad hoc transfer module. I have English or Dutch language choices. We land on the Send Files page, where we have a from address. This is my typical from address. I'm going to send it to that same address for demonstration purposes. I can type in a subject because this is an email. And I can put notes that will be in the body. Our default verbiage to click on the link will be included anyway. Then I can pick my files by browsing. Choose this particular file, for example. And choose open. We give you three by default, but a configuration change in the web config file can allow you to have more, or you can add files by clicking this link. Password protect files is checked by default on mine, and generate new password will cause us to generate a password for you. 
or use the following password, which I've typed in a very simple password for demonstration purposes. You can also choose to remember this as your default package password. If you click send now, the package will be sent. Notice this is a test. It is located in my sent files. This is a list of all of my packages I've sent so far. Under my options, I can choose options up to and including the maximums imposed by the administrator. However, I cannot exceed those. So, now that we've achieved a sent package, let's take a look at our Outlook and receive that package. And take a look at what it is like for the recipient. Opening Outlook, we click Send Receive, and there's our package. Let's open it up. Click on the link. Notice it says, please click the following link to download your file. Clicking on the link will open up the password dialog. Typing in your password and clicking log in will give me access to my file. This is a, just click the radio, and click download the file here, and you have the same options you would have in any browser to run, save, or cancel. We'll click save and we'll type save, and of course it's going to ask to overwrite, and we'll say yes. Now we have the new file. Clicking close. That is a complete demonstration of the ad hoc transfer module, both from the sender and recipient point of view.